happen everybody before we get into this morning's update and take an updated look at the charts i want to go over a quick overview of what's happened so far today if you're interested in reading the 13 uh pages from the hinman documents i did it live for everybody over here on youtube so whoops so if you're interested in that just take a look at the live that was uploaded it's had a lot of views already so i appreciate everybody who's tuned in also as we talked about in the morning update if the whole market's pumping or the whole market was already up a little bit this morning was that an indictment on because the hinman documents are being released or is this a moment in the charts and now as we can see they pulled the rug a little bit here after xrp went up to that 56.4 level it never even made it up to the pattern double top they pulled it just short of the 585 i was hoping it would hit up there just so we could get some kind of confirmation but the fact it came short and i'll show you in the chart right now once we finish this little synopsis here of exactly where xrp is at is it's hovering right around the 50 cent mark right now we came through two mary or three major areas of support i would have loved to have held that 537 or got a rejection at 585 but they stuck us in the middle at 564 and then pulled the rug so now we see if in fact this inverted head and shoulders patterns over now that it was a sell the new style event as it always is with xrp but you still have to do your due diligence leading into it so that we can be on top of the pump that came and i said this morning when you were watching if you watched the earlier update which would be fantastic if you watch at 6 a.m talk about when it pumps into something before the news comes out it's usually a sell the news style event but we're still going to do our due diligence we're going to look at the technical analysis and we're going to see is this pattern over is there somewhere we can hold and do we have higher ambitions or are we ready for the market to finally roll over make sure you hit that like button as we're choosing positivity over negativity it's up to you to be the positivity in your life you will attract the same energy and it's up to you also to not play the victim we can't afford to play the victim we have to play the savior we have to play the winner we have to have that winner's mindset so that we can start setting putting the pieces together now for our future and we also have to be the ones to give the truth because if we're not going to tell the truth nobody else is going to do it so i believe if you're sent you're, you're the one who's given the the responsibility to give the message you've got to do your best possible um interpretation of what you're seeing and right now what i'm seeing is a whole world of youtube and a lot of people that are fascinated with xrp and the ones who hold it or are considering buying it that are putting their hope and faith into people that are just looking to win a little bit more on their bottom dollar everybody knew today xrp was not pumping to oblivion if anybody thought that it was going to go 10,000 x today that's because of the vibe that is going around on youtube we need to come together as a community otherwise this community is going to get wiped out in the XRP community, that is. Good early afternoon, 12.01 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on this Tuesday, June 13th, 2023. I'm XRP Future Millionaire, and I reside in the great state of Michigan. A lot of people were anticipating the Hinman document release. We got the first 13 pages. There's, I believe, six or 700 more pages to come. But I read the, 13, the first 13 pages. I downloaded the PDF dead alive and read it verbatimly for each and every one of you to have some positive input to be a part of it so that we could all understand what was being released some key things that i can tell you right now is it said that there was no need to go after ethereum for being a security just because of the initial i and uh initial coin offering they also said that there was um no reason to go after other decentralized currency cryptocurrencies or digital assets that's where the speculation comes in with XRP. Is it decentralized or is it centralized? It's claimed to be decentralized, but that's where a lot of the argument comes into play. So that is something that I'll let you leave up to your interpretation. A lot of damning stuff for the SEC though, as well. But nothing that we weren't already gonna know, but a lot of information that we now are validated that we thought was in there with Penman and what he was saying about Ethereum and digital asset and the sphere as a whole. So make sure you watch that. I, it is available now on my YouTube. I did it live and it's uploaded. So yada, yada, yada. 
So XRP down 3.18%. I'm not even going to say shocked. Talked about this earlier. Could we come up and make a play if we hit the 585? Or I mean the 558. We had to get on top of 537. We hit the 558. Our goal was to come back down and now use the 537 at support. The moment we didn't do that, we got a strong rejection up here at 564 approximately. We almost made it to exact we almost made it to the top of this formation. We came to the bottom part of it. We came right to about here. So I mean we came into the area, we just couldn't push past the 585. And if this is the pattern completion, we'll find out. But there, this very well, until it breaks this area, it very well could be forming a bull flag right here. And it just was an overextension at this part because of the news release. So let's not get carried away here because the pattern hasn't completely faded yet. And let's make sure we're paying attention to the same thing here because until this pattern formation breaks down, there is no guarantee that this is over yet. We need this to properly break down. Right now, it's still got that uh, bull flag set up. In the two hour time frame. it's still got the inverted head and shoulders. This looks like a preemptive run up. Let me just draw out a quick formation here. So you got something like this forming. No, that looks terrible. Whoops, that looks very bad. Let me do it like this. So if you come up here, we could say we're forming something like this. And then let me come up the other side and this will make it to where you don't have to guess what I'm saying. Then like we were coming through here. We had some like over extensions of the downside as well, but we're forming something like this. And you see how we had that over extension of the downside on bad news with the, so basically this is how it's funny. Ready? This is how it becomes a little funny. So we had the overextension to the downside on Friday when the trading firm liquidated $2 billion. Today we had an overextension to the top side when the Hinman documents were released and all the FUD on YouTube that comes out about what this meant put people into the wrong type of frenzy. Standard operating procedure, folks. Now, in order for this pattern to break down, we need to break down and confirm what level again. That's correct, the 508 level, which has been in play since we made the push up. Now we have a back test on the 508 after the run up again. So let's see if this continues to consolidate because that's the formation we're actually in. Believe it or not, that is the formation we're in right now. And until that busts down and conf confirms or breaks up and confirms, we still consolidate and this pattern can technically come out to, I believe the third week of June, Friday the 23rd. So not this Friday, next Friday. So let's see if this pattern's done or if we're gonna to continue to consolidate because right now it's at a very tricky level because if it at any point finishes off this move at 52.22 and moves up for good, that would complete this cup and handle here as well. So the short term, but that inverted head and shoulder is still there. You still got that short term pattern formation. So that's why you gotta, and you can easily discern how this happened, easily. Two billion sell off on Friday by the trading firm cause a major market sell-off. Hinman documents release both sides of FUD, except one you were selling market uh, positioning. And the second one is a highly anticipated, but too anticipated because this is what social media will tell you is gonna happen. You don't know how many people I've talked to today that thought XRP was going over to a dollar the minute these Hinman documents were released. Make sure you know who you're watching and make sure you trust who you're watching. I'm XRP future millionaire. If you got anything out of this make sure you hit that like button you see that little yellow but this little yellow down here that's the 473 if you see the 473 get beaten up and rejected on that's how you know this pattern is likely over i understand the 46 cents and you would have to come through there but you lose that 473 that is technically that inverted head and shoulders that's how you hold that top part of this so if you draw a top over it that's where you need to hold so that this is a retest of the breakout of this first tier inverted head and shoulders to the top to finish out the formation. Until we hit 585, I'm still gonna be very weary of that level until we break down fully. This could be the moment we finally break down and I will be the first person on here once we do so we can be like, finally, we confirm this pattern breakdown. But right now, we're still in a bull flag in the daily, especially in the two hourly, you can see it. And we need to break this formation for this pattern to be over. 
If you want to trade like I do, video description below and or pinned comments. There's Mexi and or BitGet. No spot fees on the buy and sell. Futures trade up to 250x long you're shorting the market. Also, Uphold is in there as well where I send my stuff to. And then if you want to send a donation or if you want to support my work and support what I do as I've already done a live this morning for 45 minutes, did a short and this is the second separate update. So this is the fourth video you're receiving from me at 12.08 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you want to support my work, join Tom's Army. Stay blessed, everybody.